This is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. I'm happy to say that it's probably about 80 degrees here in California, end of March, and it's almost tomato season. So this is my one of my first tomato plants that I bought. It was actually at a home sale, actually at the home show. I got it for a dollar, so definitely a good price to get me started. It's just a standard aroma tomato. Now, today's episode is going to be about something really cool. It's about tomato cages. So you may think, okay, John, you got the tomato plant, so you gotta get the tomato cage, and many of you may have seen these tomato cages before at your local hardware store or nursery. These are known as tomato cages. To me, these are not tomato cages, these are a joke. <laughs> That's what they are to me. <laughs> because this little tomato plant here, if grown in proper soil conditions in full sun, once again, I recommend your tomatoes are always grown in full sun for best results and highest yields. This thing, if planted, will easily tower over this tomato cage. The only thing, in my opinion, this tomato cage is good for is something like a t patio tomato. Now, the patio tomatoes actually only grow like two feet tall, and these are actually perfect for patio tomatoes. So you might think, hey, John, if these are junk, what about the next bigger size? You know, they make one bigger size. It's this size. So you can see here, you know, it's about maybe a foot longer. <laughs> well, you know what? These are still both junk. Um, you know, they're not good for regular tomatoes because most tomato plants get far too large, except unless they're patio or dwarf style tomatoes that actually don't get large. Actually, I like to use these cages on other plants, uh, such as pepper plants. They work really good because they all give some support to pepper plants, but they can also be used for other vining plants or to grow other plants vertically. Actually, one year I had like a bush cucumber plant actually really worked well in one of these cages so what I've done normally in the past is actually I craft and manufacture my own tomato cage so let's take a look at that next so this is the tomato cage that I normally make and this is actually just out of a welded fence wire um, another tomato cage you can make that would be actually be more industrial is made out of a remesh or that's a concrete uh, mesh material but the problem with that is that it actually rusts so if you want that rustic look in your garden, actually remesh is actually fairly good because they actually have large holes. But it, you know, once again, it does uh, rust. It's available at your local hardware store. You can just take one of those and do the same thing I've done with this uh, galvanized uh, wire roll fence. And basically, well, all we did was we just took the fence, we just uh, probably uh, rolled out, I don't know, for about three feet worth, and then cut it off, and then we bent it around the part to make. Uh, tomato cage and what we do simply is just uh, plant this tomato here at the bottom and this tomato cage I mean this guy is probably about five feet tall better if you get him six feet and these have worked fairly well for me you know uh, depending on your diameter you know I like to make my diameters anywhere from 12 to 18 inches and that works pretty good also the other uh, thing to do is that when you make these you want to make the next one you make a little bit smaller uh, or a little bit larger than the previous one then when you store these in the winter time you could nest them all inside of each other otherwise like I have now we didn't actually make them all different sizes. we made them all the same size they actually uh, you know get really huge and big stacks but if you make them all nesting it's gonna be nice and easy to store but anyways these are really easy to make and I've been using these for a long time and uh, it actually this is what I encourage you to make because you know you could buy a whole roll of the this uh, galvanized fencing material for relatively cheap and you can make actually a lot of cages and you know once again I'm into home food production and so you know I literally have like 40 tomato plants in one bed and I need a lot of these so uh, you know the small cages won't work this is pretty good but you know what I got contacted by a company so I must uh, give this disclaimer I was contacted by this company to and they sent me these cages at no cost uh, because I am a fan of them and they probably knew I was gonna do a video on it so that you guys could learn about them too. So this is the tomato cages I got sent here. These are actually called the Texas Tomato Cage. The website is tomatocage.com. Their toll free number is 877-983-4646. So this is one heavy ass box. It's 52 pounds. And you know, I do a lot of shipping through my business and I know this th this thing ships as like an oversized uh, box and it is quite expensive to ship. In any case, you could check their website for their pricing. They have uh, different sizes. I'd encourage you to get the medium or the large size because they actually come in six feet tall. 
So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up this box and see what's inside. This box is huge. Let's go ahead and just uh, rip this up. And you know what? These are serious tomato cages. If you're really into gardening, I really like these cages. So let's go ahead and open this box up. I'm literally just tearing this uh, cardboard up. Good to get exercise. <laughs> All right, there you go. Check it out. Let's take a look inside this box here. Open this up. And there we go, man. Those are uh, a whole bunch of these tomato cages. I don't even know how many they sent me here. Let's take a look. Ugh. All right. Here's one whole bunch. And here's a whole bunch here. So next, they got their zip tied together. Let's uh, let me get a knife and we're gonna cut these open and check them out. So I got the handy bypass pruners. Good for more than just trimming up your plants. Good for cutting zip ties off your Texas tomato cage shipment. So let's go ahead and, whoa, cut that up. Oh, those are dangerous. And let's check out what we got here. So let's see. The thing about these Texas tomato cages is, you know, number, number one is that they're a galvanized metal. I like that a lot. Number two, these fold flat for storage. That's very super intelligent, you know, Nesting them's good, but folding flats better because what you could do is just put a, uh, you know, a hanger into like the side of your garage or outside, and just literally just hang them all up, so they store away really nice. And whoops, <laughs> there you go. That's how easy it is to assemble them. That must be the extension there. There's one part, and here's part two. So I think that goes like that. Then this guy gets to go in these guys right here. So here's a Texas tomato cage that's already constructed, six feet tall, approximately when it's all built. Here's the cage I made, it's uh, five feet, and we'll line that up with the top. And you can see in the bottom, there's basically a foot of uh, staking that goes in to secure the Texas tomato cage. So with the cages I make, basically how I secure those is I basically take two pieces of rebar, stick them into the ground, and then weave the rebar into this cage on two sides basically and uh, you know keep it stable I pop that up I pop the rebar out of the ground probably about one foot so all in all both these are about five feet out of the ground um, these guys are a lot less expensive these guys are a lot more expensive once again they're both made out of galvanized metal that's gonna serve you for many years these ones fold flat uh, these are actually a lot more convenient and actually these are actually really huge so uh, I don't know, I'm gonna try it this year, see how they work. You know, I wish I had enough money to uh, buy cases and cases and all I'd be using is uh, these Texas tomato cages because they're definitely superior. You could basically get your hands inside to do any cutting, trimming, or harvesting that you need. Whereas like with the one that I was using here, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get your hand inside there. I mean, I have smaller hands and can get inside there. Sometimes to get the big tomatoes out, I'll actually have to bend these guys you know, like I'm breaking out of jail <laughs> to get in there. So the Texas tomato cage is definitely really smart. I think a set of six uh, will run you approximately under $100. So that works out to be about, you know, $18 or so each plus shipping. And, you know, they're charging us 30 something bucks for shipping. So you get a set of six for about 130 bucks thereabouts. So that's definitely a good deal for sure for some really nice cages. Um, they fold flat definitely heavy duty much better than the, the design I made but once again you know they cost a lot more for 130 bucks you get a bunch of rolls of the, the galvanized stuff so what do I think of the Texas tomato cage I think they're actually awesome I think they're expensive for what they are but you know they are built in America and they will pretty much last you forever so it's a one-time investment you're gonna make in gardening and most people unlike me aren't gonna grow 40 tomato cage 40 tomatoes so they won't need 40 tomato cages if they buy a set of six most people aren't gonna have more than six tomato plants, so order a set of 
six tomato cages from Texas Tomato Cages, and you know you're gonna be actually have tomato cages forever. <laughs> and that's what I like about these guys. You know, if you want to go the inexpensive route, definitely make your own with the remesh or with the galvanized, you know, welded fence that like I did, and that'll actually serve you well too. They these guys have actually been around for three years now, and they're still working great. The comments that I have about the Texas Tomato Company, uh, you know, they're awesome people. They shipped out my order immediately. Um, let's see, they have a couple different sizes, an 18 diameter, a 20 diameter, and a 24. For me personally, the 24 diameter just gets a little bit too large. Um, I like the 20 inch, and that comes in a six foot height. Their smaller 18 may come in a smaller four foot height. Definitely go with the six foot height. 20 inch is what my pick is on, and actually even order the extension setup too. Would have been nice if they sent me that, <laughs> hint, hint. Um, because that'd be really cool because my tomatoes actually get high and they have like a, a tomato canopy and they shade out everything else and I wish I could just go taller. But with these guys, the allowed to go as tall as you want because you could just keep extending them out. I wonder at some point, you know, it'll be like the Leaning Tower of Pizza or Pizza. <laughs> but anyways, I love the Texas tomato cage. And oh, the other comments I have is that pretty much you need to give them a call to order them because their website's not set up for the digital age. So that's actually one uh, you know, thing I'd comment to them about is that, uh, you know, put online ordering on your website, although you can order them on eBay, uh, you'll pay a little bit more through ordering through eBay with them, but you could actually order them online instead of having to give them a call. So update your guys' website to order online and you guys will be with the times. Your tomato cages are already with the times. They're definitely good. So it's not yet time to plant the tomatoes outside, but when I do, I'll be using these Texas tomato cages. So once again, I do need to say that the te Texas Tomato Cage Company sent me these to review, and I did that for you guys to show you guys what is available. I may have been going around to other different companies and stores and showing you different products on my show. Once again, none of those products have been a paid placement for me. I'm literally just sharing with you the products that I think can be valuable to you so that you can grow more food at home you know some people may have the money to buy that rich stuff some people may not so I'm showing you you know just the best of what I can because you know one person may think oh these tomato cages are awesome I'm gonna order them now another person may think man those are expensive I'm gonna build my own but you know what my job is to just give you guys the options to know what's out there and know what you can do so that you guys can grow more food at home and that's what I'm all about so if any other companies want to send me any kind of devices guarding tools or whatever to review you could do it, but be forewarned. I'm gonna give my straight up honest opinions and if I think your product sucks, I'll make a video and say, hey, this thing sucks. And that's just what it is. But if you wanna put your products up to the test, hey, send them to me and I'll make a video about it. So hopefully this episode has been valuable to you to learn about tomato cages that I'll be using in my garden this year. Once again, I'm not yet planting out my tomatoes. Our last official frost date is approximately April 15th, although some people wait a little bit later. So I'm definitely not going to plant until April 15th, even though we've been having this nice weather. And I encourage you to check your local area and find your last frost date and not plant any summer vegetables out until that time. If you want to buy them now and save them, that's great. You could keep them inside, keep a nice light on them, put them in a window cell, or better yet, put them in a greenhouse or keep them warm on a, a patio, enclosed patio. That's definitely the best thing to do. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode learning about the Texas tomato cage. Uh, you know, once again, you could contact them at tomatocage.com. Once again, this is John Kohler with growingyourgreens.com. We'll see you next time and keep on growing.